Today we're reviewing The Martian. The Martian by Andy Weir was published in 2014. It was later adapted into a blockbuster movie by Ridley Scott in 2015. It starts off with Mark Watney. The main character is stuck on Mars. At first, he feels like there's not much hope in surviving. However, using his skills as a botanist and an engineer, he perseveres. First, he must solve the problem of having enough food and water for himself to survive in the hat. He, find, he finds the sojourner uh, rover sent in 1997 to communicate with NASA. One of the only ways Mark Watney can go home is to wait for another Mars mission. However, one of the airlocks explodes because the carbon fiber wall expands too much. This kills all of his potato plants, and he can't replant them. This causes him to ration even more. These recent events cause a sense of urgency at NASA. They try sending a rocket with more food and supplies to Mark, but it ends up failing. Then China decides to collaborate with the U.S. and agrees to send supplies. The Ares 3 crew decides to do a loop around Earth and go to retrieve Mark against NASA's protocols. For the Ares 3 crew to retrieve Mark from Mars, you must make a journey to the Ares 4 site and use a map to exit Mars' atmosphere so the crew can somehow catch him using their spaceship Hermes. In order to get to Ares 4, Mark must upgrade a Mars rover with various items including solar panels and food. Once at the site, he must reduce the weight of the MAV to allow it to build enough velocity to exit Mars' atmosphere. Through a difficult launch, the Hermes crew is barely able to catch Watney. The story ends with Mark and the crew traveling back to Earth, all safe. So each of us selected our favorite quote from the book. Mine was, you know what, F this, F this airlock, F that hab, and F this whole planet. My quote was, yes, of course, duct tape works in a near vacuum. Duct tape works anywhere. Duct tape is magic and should be worshipped. And mine was, uh, I was just one of her crew. Actually, I was the lowest ranked member of the crew. I would only be in command of the mission if I was the only remaining person. What do you know? I'm in command. Mark Watney makes the book more entertaining and prevents it from becoming a dull and boring novel. The science throughout the book can sometimes be confusing, but Mark often simplifies it for the reader. The power of human will, the fear of isolation, and science are all highlighted in this novel. All of us have read and both seen The Amazing Story of the Martian. I gave the story a 9.5 out of 10. I gave it a 9 out of 10. And I also gave it a 9 out of 10. For the movie rating, I gave it a 10 out of 10. I gave it an 8.5 uh, out of 10. I gave it an 8 out of 10. Overall, I feel we would say the book was better than the movie. It had a lot more humor and a lot more inner struggle of that Mark experience, just because you could kind of hear his thoughts more senses from first person. In the book, he lost communication with NASA because he fried his communication. He also has to go to the map without help. And then his rover vehicle flips over, causing so much more trouble for Mark and engrossing the reader a lot more. Hey guys, reading the Martian. <laughs> <laughs> hey, this is Sam. <laughs> this is Sam. <laughs> <laughs>